In this video, we will learn how to scrape Amazon product information with Python and beautiful SOAP module. I will grab a product link from Amazon. I'm just going to select a random product. I'm just going to use this URL of the product in my code. You need to install request and a beautiful soap module if you have not already done so you can use pip3 command and install and request and then beautiful soap and just hit enter i already installed this both modules And now I'm going to create a file to write our script. I will name it Amazon.py. First, we are going to set our user agent that we are going to use for our HTTP request to Amazon. First, I'm going to import our beautiful SOAP module and we'll right from ps4 import beautiful soap then i'm going to set our headers these are the headers i'm using and now i need a url of amazon product I will save it as a URL. So it'll be URL and then I will just remove these all extra information and just have to that product URL and just save it. And I also need to import requests. I'm just going to type import request. Now I will get our response back by calling request method get and pass in our URL and set our headers. We can now print our response to make sure that we are getting some response back from Amazon. So I'm just going to save it and run this script. I'm going to use this text so we get all the tags back so we can see the response tag. And I just need to run our script, Python 3, and then our script name. Let's see if we get the response back from Amazon. The HTML we are looking for that we are going to parse from. Here is the response from Amazon. So we are getting the response back. It seems okay. We got the response back. Now we can scrape the product information or extract the product information by using beautiful soap module. I will remove this line because I don't want to print this anymore. So I'm just going to use that. This will be our soap by creating beautiful soap object calling response dot content this will give us the response in HTML format that we printed. And in other words, we are loading this HTML so we can parse with our beautiful soap module. So. Okay. 
Now first I'm going to get the product title which is inside the element uh, product title. I'm going to use a soups uh, function select which returns uh, an array and I'm going to select the first element of an array get the text uh, the title of the product by calling get text method and then going to strip by calling a strip method so it remove all those white spaces that we don't want so we need to save our title product title and by calling so our, which is in our as variable select and here I'm going to select the product title and the first element of the array I'm going to call get text and then script and now I'm going to print our product title to make sure we got the product's title back. Print product title. Just gonna save it and execute our script. Here is our RASP instead of response. I'm just going to save this one. There's also a spelling mistake over here. Need to remove this U. And I just need to execute our script. You can see over here we got the title of the product back. So that's a good thing. Now I'm going to parse the price so it works same like a title similar to the title and now I'm going to inspect this element and we will find our tag from which we can extract the price of this product. I can select this price range and right click in your browser and click on inspect element. You can do same with Chrome. I'm using Firefox and we are going to find the tag on which we want to extract and you can see over here this is under the tag the span price block underscore our price so I'm going to use this one I added this line of code similar to what we did with the product title I just changed the tag over here to price block underscore our price to get our price back and over here I save into a product price variable and then going to print this product price I need to run this script to check if we are getting the price of this product just need to run our script and see the results you can see over here we got our price range of that product back so this worked for us too this way you can parse the product or scrape the product information from Amazon store and you can just inspect any element and get the information from there you can also get categories features reviews and other to keep on learning please subscribe to my youtube channel asim code keep supporting me and thank you for watching